Hey guys, welcome to another Theory of Computation tutorial. Today we'll be solving conversion from ENFA to NFA, that is epsilon NFA to NFA conversion. We'll solve an example. All right, so let's get started. So if you don't know what an epsilon NFA or ENFA is, I have already made a video on that. You can go and check it out. I'll put the link in the I button as well as in the description so that you'll get the concept of ENFA first. Once you understand what is ENFA, then you'll understand how to convert from ENFA to NFA. I already made a video on that also, first example. So you watch that video after you see what the NFA, uh, what ENFA is, okay? Then you can come to the second example, all right. Now, so the first step is we start with initial state that is A. You start with state A and we are going to find epsilon closure for state A. So let's say you are in state A. The meaning of epsilon closure is that all the states that you can reach by having epsilon as an input, that is, having no input. So let's say you're in state A, you get no input, you can still go to state A. If you get epsilon input, you can go to state B. If you get no input, you can go to state D, that is epsilon as an input, okay? So you can reach three states from starting state A when you get no input, that is epsilon. So that is A, B, and D. So let's write that down, A, B, and D. All right. Now. From these three states, if you get input zero, where do you go? So in state A, if you get zero, you go to state A itself, correct? In state B, if you get zero, you go to state C, correct? And in state D, if you get zero, you go to state D itself, all right? Now again, for these three states, you are going to check the epsilon closure. So that is, again, we'll have A, B, D, because for state A, we have already seen what is this thing. So let's write that down, A, B, D is for state A. Then for state C, we, what we have? Epsilon. We have got only state C. So if you get no input, you go to state C itself. So it is C. And state D, is there anything mentioned? No. So if you get epsilon as input, that is no input, you go to only state D. So when we take union of all these states, that is A, B, D, C, D, we get four states, that is A, comma b comma c comma d so let's write that down for input 0 a comma b comma c comma d all right so this is how we check the or this is how we convert an enfa to nfa now we have done it for input 0 now we'll similarly check for state a input 1 so now the epsilon closure we can just copy it from here that is a b d for state a a b d Okay, now in state A, if you get input 1, where do you go? So we have not mentioned anything, so let's just write 5, that is empty, null set. Then in state B, if you get input 1, where do you go? We have not mentioned anything, so again, it's going to be 5. And in state D, if you get 1, where do you go? It's not mentioned, so again, 5. So there is no epsilon closure for this, so the answer is going to be 5. All right, so let's write that down. Okay. Now what about state B? Now we are done with state A. What we'll do is we'll just change the color of the pen so that it's easier to recognize. So how about blue? Yeah, okay. Now we are done it for state A. Now we'll check for state B. Okay, now in state B, if you get uh, epsilon, where do you go? You go to state B itself, you can go to, okay, let's just mark these arrows over here, okay? Yeah, these are very important. Okay, so in state B, if you get epsilon, you go to state B itself. That is, if you don't get an input, then you go to state D. Okay, and that's it. So let's write that down. We have got B and D. Okay, now in state B, if you get input zero, you go to state C. So let's write that down. And in state D, if you get zero, you go to state D. So C and D. And now we can check the epsilon closure for state C. So state C epsilon closure is, it's not going anywhere only to state C itself. So we'll write state C and in state D, uh, the epsilon closure is going to be, is it going anywhere after getting epsilon? No, so it is state D. So the final answer for input zero for state B is, it is C comma D, C comma D. Now similarly for state B input one, we can just copy the epsilon closure that is B and D. These are the two states it reaches, okay? Now in state B, if you get input one, where do you go? Is it mentioned anywhere? It's not mentioned, right? So you're just going to write it as five. And in state D, if you get input one, is it mentioned? It's not, so it's going to be again five. And 
the epsilon flow is as obvious 5 so for input 1 it is 5 okay now let's change the color again and this time we are going to use let's say purple all right now for state c okay let's see here in state c okay if you uh, get no input where do you go that is epsilon closure for state c is going to be just state c okay now over here in state c if you get input 0 where do you go is it mentioned no it's not mentioned so you just write phi and again epsilon closure for phi is it is empty so phi so let's write that down now similarly we'll check for input 1 so let's say you're in state c epsilon closure is going to be just state c okay and in state c if you get input 1 you go to state b okay so now in state b what is the epsilon closure state b can reach itself it can also go to state d so we'll write it as b and d so let's write that over here b comma d okay now the last one is state d which is our final state so let's use color yellow all right so let's say you are in state d okay and what is the epsilon closure it is just state d because from here you don't go anywhere if you get epsilon just state d you go okay so state d and if you get input zero you go to state d itself and the epsilon closure for state d again we are going to check it is going to be state d so the answer is state d for input zero and over here for d again you can check for epsilon closure for d it is going to be d only if you get input one where do you go it's not mentioned so let's write it as phi and epsilon closure for phi is again phi so it's phi all right so this is how we convert uh, e nfa to our nfa okay so we'll construct this e nfa over here only and we'll use let's say red color all right so we have got four states over here and again uh, we have to also check for final states right so state d in is our final state in our enfa but uh, is there any other way we can reach state d by getting epsilon we have to mark those states also as final states so if you are in state a you get epsilon that is no input you go to state a you go to state b also and you can also reach state d so state a also has to be marked as a final state okay it also has to be marked as a final state similarly state b also if you get nothing you go to state d that is epsilon you go get you go to state d so this also has to be marked as a final state and similarly state d was also a final state so you have to mark it again so these three are going to be our final states so let's draw it so let's say in state a double circle because it's a final state then you have got state B again double circle then you have got state C single circle and then you have got state D double circle all right now in state A it is a starting state so let's draw that arrow if you get input 0 you go to state A B C D so let's draw if you get input 0 0 input zero okay and if you get input one you are going nowhere so no need to draw okay now in state b if you get input zero you go to state c and d okay so you have to draw for state b uh, for input zero and let's just change the color so that it's easy to understand uh, let's use blue yeah and if you get input zero you also go to state c all right and if you get input one no need to mark okay now in state c if you get input zero you go to no state but if you get input one you go to state b and d okay so if you get input one you go to state b and d so input one and uh, state b and d for input one okay and similarly state d if you get input zero you go to state d itself so input 0 you go to state d itself and input 1 you don't have to mark anything so this is how we convert this e nfa to its equivalent nfa so i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much